When you create EPUB versions of all of your books, you want to make sure that it contains as much metadata as possible. And metadata is the information that people are going to be searching on um, to find your book. Um, and of course, searching is the all important um, secret ingredient in making your uh, ebooks, your EPUB books, uh, successful. Um, and it seems an awful shame, given that you've gone to the bother of getting a lot of your metadata into the Onyx standard, um, to not then use that exact same source um, as the uh, as the source of information that goes into the InDesign document that you're going to use to create your EPUB version. Um, so here's a single title um, Onyx record. Um, if you know anything about Onyx, it look pretty familiar, pretty straightforward. Just a single product within this, this Onyx record. Um, and here's a bit of XSL that I've written to uh, transform that Onyx XML into the XMP format, which is what InDesign um, uses uh, as the language to describe its metadata. So I'm just going to run this XSL over the top of the XML. I've just got some config a configuration set up, so I'll just hit run. And you can see it's just going to transform that information into the right sort of um, contents there. Um, so that's done. We'll go to our InDesign uh, area now, create a new document, one that hasn't got any data in at all. Um, we're going to go to File and File Info. And here's all of the information that, um, here's the place where you're going to put all of the information. It's going to be pretty laborious if you have to fill in all of these screens um, for every single title that you do um, manually. Um, and particularly galling if you know that you've got that information tucked away nicely in your in your Onyx system. Um, but thankfully we're just going to be able to fill in all of these relevant boxes for, um, for the book publishing industry um, by going to import down here. I'm just clicking on import. We're going to keep the original metadata but append matching properties from template. That's because um, this document will always have, uh, will already have font information embedded and if it had images then it would have the image in information embedded. So we don't want to destroy anything that's in our, our base document. Um, but we do want to import um, additional information. So I'm going to keep that selected, click on OK. I'm going to navigate to um, my uh, to the area where I've got my file saved, which is the one that I just created. That's XMP there. That's the file, and you can see immediately the key fields have been um, filled in. Here's the title, the author, there's some keywords, um, there's some category information there and supplemental categories and I've set that up for my own purposes but you can have any sort of information in there that you want. Um, if there was an illustrator this, that would be contained within there and um, there's the origin information. Um, and back over here I think we've got some description data um, within the, within the um, area that we've got. So there's the description all nicely filled in. Um, I've defaulted uh, all of my products to um, five stars because, well, you know, why wouldn't I? Um, and over here in the raw data, this is actually the information that we've just imported into the um, into this file here. Um, so it's, it's relatively lengthy and a little bit fiddly, but um, you don't need to worry about that because that is all done now. Um, so now I can uh, happily export the contents of my file um, into the EPUB format. Um, so I hope you found that useful. If you want a copy of that XSL or if you want me to talk you through it in a little bit more detail, um, my email address is emma at snowbooks.com. Um, look forward to talking to you about it.